another door. More delightful individuals await us on the other side, I assume. Let me handle it. Piece of cake. Miss, your hairstyle is really strange. <laughs> is that so? I think it looks really cool. Take a closer look if you don't believe me. Your hair sticks out from your head, and you wear spiky things in it. Nobody else has hair like that. Well, you're looking at it the wrong way. If I don't look like anybody else, once you've seen me, you won't be able to forget me, even if you try. You'll still recognize me if you ever see me again in the future. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Your clothes, hair, even the way you walk and talk. It's not just for the eyes of others. It's your style. So you should go with whatever you like. Really? But if I wore a jacket with a picture of a puppy on it, people would say, hey, little Faye likes stupid little puppies. What the conversation is this? Then you should ignore them. So, you like puppies, huh? I do. What about your friends? Well, yeah, they do too. <laughs> well, then your friends are gonna love that jacket. Okay. Uh, miss, how come you don't do your hair in a nice braid? People would love that. No, oh, I can't help myself. I just like the styles with personality. Ah, plus, I had no idea how so many people would dislike it before I started wearing my hair like this. So, why don't you change it now? Well, this hairstyle suits my music and my lifestyle. The regular ones are boring. They're so uninspired. Plus, they get in the way when I'm head bobbing away on stage. <laughs> if people don't like it, that's up to them. I ain't gonna change it. What about your friends? Do they not like it too? Of course they like it. They all say that they think it looks amazing. Your friends are nice to you. That's cool. Not like my friends. They left me here on my own. <laughs> oh, hey, hey now. Why are you crying? What's wrong? You can talk to me. Little Lulu and little Mung, they're ignoring me. We were gonna meet at the docks today, but they still haven't shown up. Wait a minute, is this the, the keys from the docks that we already do the dailies for the pirate play? These kids are way too young to be standing each other up like this. No. Oh, stay right here, I'll go take a look around. I'll bring them to you once I find them. Oh, okay. Thanks, miss. How do you get here? ever say anything bad about your hair again. See, now you're talking sense. I'll see you later. You dum-dum, we were preparing a surprise gift for you. We didn't think that you wouldn't come to try and find us, and definitely didn't think you'd start crying about it. I'm sorry for being such an idiot. No, I'm sorry. You're not an idiot. I guess we shouldn't have been so secretive about it. We didn't come to the docks to meet you because we wanted to give you a big surprise for your birthday. Okay, I'm gonna say this because as user, some people don't like the NPC, but here's the thing. If you actually use the NPC that I already have for the story, that can actually work. Because you cannot know the NPC that meet a one-time NPC and never see them again. This actually works because I kind of play around with these kids when I equip with Beidou just for the fun. Huh? This is... We brought you loads of yummy lotus heads! And here's a handwritten birthday letter from me and Lulu too. Uh, please don't call our handwriting ugly, okay? <laughs> you guys, <laughs> thank you. <sighs> A 
And all's well that ends well. It was all just a misunderstanding. Well, sometimes that's just what friends do. If my friends had ditched me to plan a surprise, I'd have gotten upset too. Is that a hint for us to prepare a surprise for you too? Very clever. No! Well, I was just speaking my mind. <laughs> I know. I was just joking, seeing if I could give you a fright. Uh, everyone? Paimon's hungry. It's almost lunchtime, so how about we have lunch at my house? It's not far from here. So, even your house is in this mirage? <laughs> yep, I just noticed. There's the same road in here as the one that leads to my house in real life. Even though we're in a mirage, I reckon some things will always remain the same. In real life, after a bad quarrel with the neighbors or a disappointing show, the one place I'll always go is my house, because, well, everyone has to go home eventually. Here we are. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. No need to take off your shoes. Thank you for your hospitality. Oh, chairs. We can finally unwind for a bit. Huh? Uh, did you guys hear a sound coming from the other room? Oh, you all keep resting here. I'll go have a look. Oh, the lights aren't even on. And there's no one... Whoa! What? Dun, dun, dun. Happy, Happy birthday! Why did you have to come out? What are you two doing? Why are you sitting in the dark inside my house? You scared the bejesus out of me! <laughs> you, Jin, you were totally right. She does get spooked. I'm actually surprised we have extra characters in this update. Usually a very small person. Yeah, I you know that they're gonna be like a small cameo, but I'm still surprised. It's your birthday, so we planned a surprise party for you. <laughs> you girls really shouldn't pull these pranks while pretending to be all sweet and innocent. Huh? <laughs> Come on now, what's wrong with that? Who says that being cute and innocent means you can't pull pranks? Back me up, Xiangling. This is, uh, oh yeah, uh, I remember, this is uh, off screen. We are not actually in the room to actually see this. I think this is the first time. Aside for the, maybe the Abyss sister. Totally, Yunjin. Goba pulls pranks on me all the time too. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> Beidou needs to do something today, so she has asked me to deliver her gift to you. So, here they are! A custom-made dagger, and a score of a composition from abroad. As for my offerings, I had these gold hairpins and iron hair ties, custom-made for you by my family. Iron hair ties? You're telling me that your family used their 1,000 years worth of experience to make hair ties? What's the problem? Hair ties may look simple and unassuming, but they actually require a lot of intricate craftsmanship to make. <laughs> My gift is one of a kind. A little while ago, I came across a bespectacled blacksmith on the street. The way he worked and talked, it felt almost like he could see right through stones. I was skeptical, so I asked him to help me make a bet. And when the merchant cracked the stone open, there was indeed a piece of raw jade inside. <laughs> I took the jade on the spot and ground it into a pendant, which I then strung on a cord. You can use it as an accessory. Wow. You made a jade pendant for me? Yeah. Oh, don't wear it around your neck. Put it on your guitar. Every day I see how much you pamper that guitar, so I thought you should jazz it up a bit. I don't know if I can bring myself to hang this thing anywhere except in a display case on an altar. 
Thank you, Xiangling. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> Xiangling has always been thoughtful. But the blacksmith you mentioned, who could see through stones, can you tell me more about him? If the story's interesting enough, I might have to put it into my play. I'm not exactly sure, but I hear that he was sick for a while and was so disoriented during that time that he couldn't remember anything and felt as if his body didn't belong to him. And then, all of a sudden, he recovered. He's all fine now, except for some reason, he can now tell the difference between valuable and worthless stones just by looking at them. I get, it's not me that noticed this thing, like some character is gonna have that sis sis voice. Hmm, that's certainly peculiar. No, let's not get into that. The food is getting cold. Let's eat! Wait, Xinyan, didn't you pick up a trick from an Outlander merchant? The one you taught me on my last birthday. Huh? Oh, you mean making a birthday wish? <laughs> yes, that's the one. They also light candles and cut cakes in other regions. But we didn't have time for that, because we were too busy bringing the food over. It's fine. I can just use my imagination. Okay, let's count to three and you can make a wish. One. Two. Three! <laughs> hmm. What should I wish for this year? My wish is... Oh, I'm back. What happened? Paimon was just peering through the crack in the door. Given that we are in a mirage, Shinyan, did anything significant happen inside the house? Paimon knows! Paimon knows! She ran into some of her friends who were throwing her a birthday party. Uh, yes, I heard all that. I mean, something she did herself. Oh, I made a wish. It's pretty interesting now that I think about it. When I entered the room, I found Shang Ling and Yun Jin, two of my best friends. That actually happened in real life. They paid me a surprise visit on my birthday, set a table with delicious food, and persuaded me to make a birthday wish. Xin Yan, what was your wish? My wish was to perform with someone completely unexpected. Hmm, I wonder who this unexpected person might be. I've just figured it out. Oh, you already know the answer? Mm-hmm. However, before I tell you the answer, I'd like to clear the water veins that flow through the mountains. She's gonna play the mountain, isn't she? We've done everything we can, but how do we deal with the last two mountains? Let's stick to it. There's gotta be a way. After taking a closer look, it seems to me that most of the island mountains contain water veins and plants in their interior. Those together form a system that connects the mountains with one another. However, now that much of the mountains have collapsed, the connection of plants and water veins is blocked. If we can dredge all the blockages, we'll be able to connect the islands to form the giant instrument described in Albedo's notes and play music using the islands themselves. Yep, for me to reach my goal, we gotta do this. But first, I'd like to consult the flower. It should know what to do. Some of the plants and water veins on the island mountains have been lost. Do you happen to know another way to dredge the blockages? I know someone who can help you with that. Go ask my companion, Frozen Soul, who lives upstairs. Who are you? 
And what brings you to me? Nice to meet you. We were wondering if you could use your power to dredge the mountains on the island. Mountains? Oh, I see. You want to become great musicians too, right? Oh, is that what this is about? Correct. In that case, we seek the same thing. Despite my frailty, I feel obligated to share some of my power with you. Plant my pedal at the ending point of the intersection of melodies, and what had once sunk into the earth will re-emerge with the music. As long as there is music, life will continue to flourish in this world. Oh, thank you! Okay, this ought to do the trick. Oh, there's a sound coming from the island. Can you feel anything now that we've planted the pedal? Yes, I can feel it. The sun is shining brightly. The sea gleams like a gemstone. The waves lap the milky white beaches. And the grains of sand are pulled into the sea, then pushed back ashore. The seabirds are landing on the rocks pecking gently and making rhythmic sounds. Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. It's music. This is indeed music. In fact, this whole island is a giant musical instrument. Since you are a musician, you should be able to understand the meaning behind its original creation. Ah. <sighs> Making music with the tides, waves, and sea breeze as your instruments is the most romantic thing in the world! Let's go, everyone. It's time for my performance. Kazaha, can you feel the wind? Which direction is it blowing in? It's coming from that direction. I'll take you to a hill where the wind blows. Finally, the time has come. Everyone, I once made a wish to perform with someone no one could have expected. And today, on this island, I found my answer. No one knows the name or appearance of the man who transformed this island into a giant musical instrument so many years ago. But he is unquestionably one of Tavad's greatest musicians. I never imagined I'd be able to see such an instrument, and I never imagined we'd be able to play it during a high tide. No. Music is the gift one gives to their kindred spirit, so I'll play something that makes for a better duet with the original musician. No rock music for today. Instead, I'm gonna show you something new. lived here in the past. I hope you liked this song.
How was it? Not bad, huh? <sighs> Quite impressive. Okay, that was too soft. <clears throat> and I must say, seeing her with the no with the hair down and kinda of teaser for the upcoming character. But next skin, Shalian with down hair. Do it me how I've never heard a duet like that before. It was very interesting. And so elegant as well. Oh, I was not sure how best to put it, but it was just super unique. <laughs> Thank you. And now I can say my wish has come true. Is there anything else you'd like to do? No. In fact, I reckon I'll get a good night's sleep tonight. Does this mean everyone is free for the time being? If so, I have a suggestion. I'd like to return to the Fatui camp and see what's going on there. Oh, so you've discovered the Fatui camp as well. Didn't we supposed to Wait, keep that a secret? You know about it too? Of course, I'm a genius astrologist. Didn't I mention that my scry glass has recovered a little? I can sense what's going on here through divination. Uh, I didn't know the Fatui were here too. Indeed. I also informed Fischl of this when we parted ways today. If she runs into them, she'll stay hidden and out of danger. I see. Then perhaps we should tell everyone what we know. A strange machine and delirious Fatui? Are you suggesting these are connected to the Mirage? I can't say I'm certain, but I don't believe they're completely unrelated. Fair enough. Let's go check out the camp. Really? Why do I feel like Jenny cannot get the sword end of the ship? Kazuha kind of has all his time, but Shani, when we done, now we have to deal with the fat I don't know, she kind of has the sword end of the ship. But how do I collect this last one? Um, why is dark? Whoa, where did they come from? By royal de Let's roll! Oh, coming through! Tia! that on our way here, we've only run into local monsters, and no Fatui. How bizarre. There are still signs of the camp, and the machine is still here, but all the people have vanished. Oh, I give up. I'm just going to divine the answer. <sighs> hmm. What's this? Some kind of energy flow? Oh, sorry, everyone. I can't seem to find any trace of the Fatui. My scry glass has gotten hazy again, but this time, I can sense some sort of energy converging and taking physical form. The destination is... the island over there. Whose mirage will it be this time? Hm. Let's head over and have a look. Maybe we'll be able to find something there. Wait, already? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Already we're gonna go to the next island? And I want to... Okay, I'm gonna put a pause here because I want to get the last one. Okay, after a quick dungeon, I finally have enough. Before 
the true majesty of the Princessin. I created another universe and founded Paradise. For I, Fischl, and the Princessin de Fer er I created another universe. By royal decree. Yeah, a new skin to have in the collection. And let's continue with this one. Here we are. Huh? Fischl? Huh. It's really her! Hey, Fischl! Hmm? Uh, my imprudent retainers. You finally arrived. Oh, my. Long time no see. It hasn't been that long, has it? <clears throat> Main Fräulein and I sensed a peculiar aura and came here ahead of time to reunite with everyone. We weren't expecting you. Well, what I mean to say is, you arrived sooner than we expected. Is it just Paimon, or does Oz seem nervous? The advent of the Imanakreish is imminent, and I still need to prepare for the consecration. Main Fräulein, are you sure you... I am quite capable of acting on my own, Oz. If you're weary of the encroaching darkness of the night, you're quite welcome to return to the blinding brightness of the day. Please, Main Fräulein, do not say such things. I am your loyal attendant, your eyes, and I will never leave your side. Stop staring at me like that! I... <laughs> anyway, the time of explanation... is not yet upon us. Hm. Oh, Main Fräulein. I do apologize, everyone. Main Fräulein is having a rough day. Please, do not take it to heart. I must also excuse myself now. Huh. Still no improvement in her mood, even after all this time away from the group. As soon as I saw Fischl, I realized that the mirage that's about to take shape here must have something to do with her. Yes. I, at least, felt a peculiar sense of familiarity when I approached my mirage. Me too! Even though it didn't really make sense, I just had a feeling that something exciting was gonna happen. Exactly. If Fischl and Oz can also sense something, then our suspicions are likely to be right on the Mora. Fischl's probably agitated because she doesn't want to confront her mirage. How come? Maybe her mirage conceals some secrets that she doesn't want anyone to know about. Let's all take a rest here for now. When the mirage appears, we will get to the bottom of this mystery. Wow. They are really going all out with this stuff. Okay, I guess we're gonna do this off screen. And we have two more. One for Fisher and one for Mana. Odd, yeah. reveal thyself! No, he looks the same. But we have a new skin, finally, something new to change. <laughs> hmm. I don't know why, but for some reason, when I go into the dungeon with this team, this has some kind of ball on her shoulder that gather. But hey, now we have the skin. That's all that matters. I guess tomorrow is gonna be the peace toy. But we'll see. See? So yeah, see you in the next episode of Pilot. Hello.